Tonight, the popular El Toro roller coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, remains closed. Inspectors are now looking into what went wrong during a malfunction that sent five to the hospital. Reporter John Paul with our sister station, WPVI, has more. We can tell you that no one who came out here to Six Flags today was able to ride El Toro. State investigators were here after more than a dozen people were injured on that roller coaster last night. It jerked like it was like thunk and it, it like it almost like it jerked. So and we, you know, everybody on was kind of like, okay, what just happened? Holly Core was on El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure last night when she felt a bump, almost like hitting a pothole. So I knew something was wrong because I've ridden that roller coaster so many times that I knew that it was. Some people say you know coasters are rough or what wooden coasters rather are rough, but that was no something's wrong. Turns out something was wrong. 14 riders were hurt after that reported bump. Five of those people had to be taken to the hospital with injuries to their neck, back, mouth, and tongue. Core heard some of their complaints. And some people said, oh, I bit my tongue. I think my tongue is bleeding. Someone else I heard someone saying their back was hurting. Chopper 6 captured this video of ambulances at that park last night. Six Flags told us today all the people injured have been released from the hospital. The New Jersey Department of Community Affairs says there were reports of a loud bang and jolting during operations, but they're not yet sure what caused it. This incident comes after the ride had to be shut down last year when it derailed. It didn't reopen again until this year. That all changed last night. The ride will remain closed while it's inspected. Park goers we talked to today hope that Six Flags keeps a closer eye on the ride. It's concerning. Maybe they need to do some more checks or something beforehand, you know, yeah. do some more testing. So the question remains tonight, what caused this? Well, we don't have that answer tonight. And until that answer comes in, the ride will remain closed.